Yo, welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be getting on with installing a new DB into this beautiful barn, which eventually is probably going to be a bit of like a granny annex. That's what it's going to be. Um, so initially what we've got to do now is just because we've got our 16 mil armoured brought in, We've just got a mount on the board to get the, it's a main switch board that's going in. There's no outgoing legs on it at this minute because the project is on hold. So we've got this one to do and also a triple set of garages over there. Um, the brand of board that we're fitting today is a fuse box board. Um, it's just a main switch, like I've said, din rail blanks, get it all mounted up and let's get stuck into the video. Right, I apologize straight away. There is some tree surgeons working. They are working pretty much over there, sorting some conifers out. So they might be able to see those shortly. So we've brought a water mains in because we were doing a massive trench and the idea was that the new power lines coming in, we said, well, eventually, if it's gonna be sort of a dwelling gym area, we might as well put some new water mains in. So they are not connected. Because if it was, we'd be getting pretty wet right now. So the idea is we're gonna get our board mounted sort of a workable height here, and then future plans is we're gonna be sort of doing loads and loads of work in here, but it's, I mean, how epic. Imagine if this was like where you own. How cool is that? So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get that lot out of here and all fitted. Okay, so we have got the boards. So we're gonna use a, like I say, a fuse box. This is a seven way. Just a main switch incomer for now. Yes, eventually, if it's turned into a dwelling or any future work that's gonna be going on, don't know when that is. So this is what's been requested right now by the client. We've been putting SPD in here, and then there'll be an MCB for this location, which will power up the SPD. So we're gonna be now fitting that. We're gonna be filling it with these. And we're also gonna be using the armored gland pack for both ends. Um, yes, technically we don't use, don't have to use the weatherproof ones for this one, but in fairness, we've always done it this way. We always fit the weatherproof just because we do. That is what we do. You might notice that this wall is pretty, is pretty wobbly. So what I'm gonna do is choose a site that's gonna sort of work best. Yes, I could mount a board and all the rest of it, but the client doesn't want that. He wants it mounted straight onto the brick because then he's got, he's got plans. He's got plans, he knows what he wants. So what I'm gonna choose is this is gonna be like the top area of my board and it should sit pretty flat with this one here. So that is what I'm gonna choose. So just stripped out the board now. So inside here, you'll get your buzz bar cover, which we just take off. You'll get an accessories pack which is that. And you'll also get a bracket here for doing normal conventional tails, but we're not doing conventional tails, so there's no way that is gonna tighten up close enough to hold the 16 mils uh, in place. So that's gonna come out the way. Um, and the intention is, is that, like I say, it's gonna be mounted up sort of there, and we're gonna get a little bit of a sweep, a little bit of a sweep on with that with the armor to bringing that through. So I've already drilled out a 25 mil hole because the preset holes aren't 25 mil. I think that's 32 and 20 mils on there. So they're 20 mils. The one at the top is a 32 and this is now a 25 mil, which is what I've just drilled out. So be careful when you're drilling these, take, take your time because if you don't, you'll push the whole thing through and then that won't work. And then we're gonna use, we're gonna do it on this end rather than down at the consumer unit end, we're gonna use the, the old banjo on this end. Because I think it's better to do it here rather than for neatness rather than at the main house consumer unit.
Right, so, as you just saw, board mounted, and I just started getting the cleats on. So, for those of you who don't know what cleats are, do you know what, I could just show you, couldn't I? I could just show you what they are. So these are cleats. These are cleats, and obviously they have different sizes for different types of cable. And the idea is that I could put another one in here, but I'm not, not just yet, because I'm now gonna get the gland in, Get the gland in, get that drilled through, get the banjo on, and that way we'll show you how to mark the armour so you make sure it's cut right every single time. Now I feel like I dropped on lucky when it came to actually fixing that on. So actually fixed on really nice and neat and level, which makes a huge difference. Um, considering the wall is so wonky donkey. Um, so what I'm gonna do also, I'm probably gonna put a bit of a tape, a bit of tape on the end of that. Um, I know it's not going in, because it's not even in the house because we put it in. Um, but you never know, I'll put a little bit of tape on it. Um, I don't know when that's actually being connected in fairness. I think it's no time soon anyway. So once we've got this all terminated, we can have a little level up. Now, yeah, I could chase all this off, but again, is where do you stop? Because then that goes all the way down there and that would be a problem. So like I say, at the minute, these are temporary supplies. Well, I say temporary, semi-temporary supplies that are going in. Um, so we're now gonna get the glands on. Um, it is, so for sizing wise, let's just tell you, let's just tell you what we've got. Let's just cut through. So we have got a, I think it's CW. What have we got? Is that an OCW? I don't know, OCW 25. The, 25, the 25 stands for the size of the hole there required, which would be going into that, which we're gonna do right now, come on. Right, so as you've just seen, I've marked this out up to here. Now we're gonna use this, which is a backup. I think it's actually designed for pipes. I think, I think that's the actual design for it. I'm gonna use that for cable stripping, but clearly I don't need to do all of that. So we're gonna trim that up first. We'll get that cut to about here, make it more manageable to, to work with. So let's blast that through. Get that out of the way straight away. So I'm also going to show you a little top tip on how to get your shroud on. Perfect every time. So that's your shroud. If you don't know what that is, that is what it is. So that is basically like a dust cover that goes on. Doesn't really stay that way, not permanently anyway. So if you get that on, give it a little twisty to it, and you can see there's actually like that line formed all the way around. Get your knife. Slice that all the way through without skinning. That's something I've done before. You skin that part of your hand, which I'm gonna be honest, I don't advise doing it. So you can either pull it through just to stretch it, turn it, stick that down there. And then you've got a perfect, nice, tight fit every single time. That is the best way to do it, trust me. Every single time, that way, or don't bother.
brought the cores through and obviously you need to make sure that you're clearly identifying what each core does because if you don't that is another non-compliance so we've got our grey which is actually going to be our neutral our brown is going to be our live anyway and our black is actually going to be my earthing so also we've brought a flying lead through up for my earthing arrangement here which that picks up the earth armoring for the actual armored this end which means i don't have to do it at the other end because as long as that earth the, the armoring on the swa is actually earthed at one end then we're all good so that is what i've decided to do it here because it's a bit more industrial in here rather than inside the house um, so now what i'm going to do is going to get these all in i'll get the earth in first get that out of the way then we'll mount this back up we'll get that back in place and then terminate that get the old din rail filled up so db done so literally the only thing i've got left to do for this is testing so we've just got to test our supply before when we're doing the just before we do the final connections at the other end can't talk today no idea why it's really annoying so i put the buzz bar on put the cover on because guarantee that if i don't put that on uh, the buzz bar in it'll be lost when it's come to come and do the rest of it so we're as far as i'm concerned we're ready just need to put that on label it all up which we're going to do right now right board number two two is now fitted um so we've got it in here obviously this is the triple garage that we're in so the board is now mounted up in this location so it's right in the corner doors are here and then it leaves everything else because i think there's some big plans for this but we've not i can't we've been here such a long time we're doing all the um top story renovation so we've done the bedroom renovation and walking wardrobes and all that so it's the, obviously this is the farm job so I can't remember what they said, but I think they've got some big plans for this room. So, yeah, I know. So, I know, I know, I know. So this time, we put a 10 mil supply into here, into this building, 16 mil in there. Um, just because when you do your calculations for voltage drop, because it's such a long way over to the other barn, it needed 16. So that's what it's had. So we're all ready to go on here. So what I'm doing at the minute is I've just... Done my flying lead at the bottom, so oh, I'll just show you. So the flying lead at the bottom, just there. So that's linked up straight into my earth terminal. I've got the buzz bar on at the bottom. So that is why is that being awkward? That first time, first time. Um, so that's basically it. So we're just going to get the the board cover on. I'll label it up. Just main switch. So all I want on it right now, I don't want anything else on it. Um, and then what we'll do is go to the far side and I'll show you how I'm gonna have to get the cables in there. <sighs> so previously we've done all the trenches that lead all the way down there. So you see the grass has grown right back. So obviously in the video, you might've seen it. So there's piles and piles and piles of soil, but look, it's all gone. And the grass is looking pretty decent. So you see a little bit here, still ready to take going. We're going round. There's the water mains, so we're just going to cut some of that off because we've got, see where that, the gas line is? The water mains is actually just the other side of that inside the building, but it will mean we'll have to strip all of that um, utility out. And we're not doing that just yet, that's another phase to do at a later date. So this is where our mains comes in. The consumer unit is pretty much up there on the inside, so now I've got to figure out a way of coming in to the building without oh killing myself obviously so we've got our meter tails in so there is a bit of trunking inside we've got three phase to the building but it's only using a single phase supply um, because like I say, it used to be a proper farm a proper working farm it was so yeah so we just got to figure out now so here's my two armors that we've ran back to the building so now it's just going to try and figure out the best way of getting it inside nice and neat so let's jump inside and go and have a look so here is the said consumer unit so someone's already put this in this is not done by me this is somebody else's handiwork and yeah so i think there was a hot tub at some point and that is one of the cables that is outside disconnected um yeah so i need to basically get in here the two more rcbo's here and also that is wrong. So we've got a 16 amp feeding the lights. Let's hope that's not right. Um, so we'll be changing that. 
as well. So I think what we're going to do is get this trunking off, remove the toilet roll, we'll get all that out of the way, and figure out the best course of action. Right, um, no easy way of saying this. I've had a disaster, and I mean an absolute disaster. Uh, I'm going to show you this, and uh, it's all going to make sense. See that? There's water coming down there, and there's water on that, which means only one thing. I've just drilled through a pipe. Damn it. Can't believe it. Um, that's the first time I've done that. Genuinely, the first time I've done that. So as you can imagine, as soon as I saw that, that's going to be an issue. So I've just been out and tried to soak up all the water as much as I can. So I'm now going to take all the boarding off. Let's go and see how bad it is. <laughs> so, somewhere between here, the wall, somewhere between here and here, I've now drilled through the pipe. So let's get these off, these panels off. Oh, God. Okay, that is the offending article. It's a 22 mil pipe here that I've come through. There's a big gaping hole in it. Just there. Fantastic. So now I'm going to have to repair that before I do anything else. Brilliant. Right, so I've managed to get the pipe off. And that is what I've done. So I've well and truly knackered the water mains coming in. Um, so you can see through the pipe how much that's, uh, yeah, not bode well. I've just told the customer uh, and they said, oh, is that why well, I've got no, uh, no water coming through the taps? I'd say. So this is where I'm at right now. So I've now cut off the feed here um, that comes round and this side, I've cleaned it all up. So now I'm going to have to sleeve over and put another bit of copper in and that hole's not going to work for me. So yeah, not great. I've had better moments, um, but one of the things is trying to make sure it's all clean and sorted. Um, but yeah, it's a good job that we've got stuff in the van to sort it out, isn't it? I've had an absolute meh, and I mean meh. Oh, right. Now having to, so this joint here didn't didn't solder, so we've ended up having to cut it all out and start all over again. <laughs> Winner. So just about to turn the water back on now, so hopefully, fingers crossed, it should all be good. Right, so, oh my God. That's been an absolute pig. I'm going to be honest, it took ages. Probably took about, to do that repair, probably about two hours to sort that out because water kept dripping, kept dripping, couldn't solder it properly. This is why I need the press fit. I need the press fit gun to make my life a lot easier. So, somebody sent me one. Come on, let's play the game. So, I'm just going to show you that pipe, right? So, that is what's caused me all this massive headache. So I'm definitely back here tomorrow. That is for 100% gonna be back tomorrow. So what I've got is, don't worry, that's not staying like that. I mean, that would be a bit of an issue wouldn't it? going across there. So I've got meter tails running up in that corner, as you've seen, all sorts of stuff. So I think my plan is that I'm gonna get my cables to come along on the pillar here and then sweep in. Um, there's massive plans going in for the other side. I've just chatted with a client and it's about how far do we go um, with making everything pretty inside. So yes, not great. Um, but as you can see, the brickwork and stuff on this side is a lot of broken and blown bricks. So even though in drilling that with off hammer for the last bit, it just popped the front. So I've got a little way of repairing it anyway with the aid of all that dust that's on there so that dust that's on there we need to keep that somewhere safe somewhere dry and once i've dressed all these cables in we're going to do something to hide it all so yeah so if you're new to the channel and you haven't subscribed yet make sure you do because if you don't what is wrong with you make sure you do turn notifications on do me an absolute solid because this has been a bad day and i mean a bad day. Oh.
Okay, so I've done the brick repair and I'm going to explain exactly how I've gone about doing it. Remember that dust? Remember the dust? Right, here goes. You're going to need some silicon, right? So you're going to need some silicon of some sort. Um, it, I mean, it doesn't really matter. It, it, to be fair, any colour makes no odds whatsoever. So keeping all the dust on that shelf, you fill the entire area. Now that, that stuff is almost like putty, that is. So... Because of that, you can sort of mould it around, push it in and out. I mean, you look at all these bricks up here, and you just basically get it in, throw it into... So you throw it into that, and it will leave it textured. So when you stand back, it blends right in, doesn't it? So this is the best solution I could come up with, with getting that inside the building. Now there is other plans, like I say, moving forward, but that is the way it is. So that's the brick repair anyway. So this has been an absolute nightmare today. I'm gonna to be honest. So I'm trying to now sort of get um, some kit away. Oh, I've been such a pig. Honestly, it's just fought me every single which way. Um, also, my wife's car has broke down. It's the pain once you've got a flat tire, it's not broke down. It's well, I suppose it's broke down, isn't it? Technically. Um, so I've got to have two new tires on it, but because of the type of car it is, uh, they're not cheap. Uh, and also that they now well, I knew this anyway, but I didn't think it'd catch me out just yet. They they now don't have tires in there for spare tires, because one of them is flat and the other one's not looking too tidy. So that's got to be sorted, and uh, yeah, it just goes to show, like, I know this is one of the things I've always bang on about, about the channel, is keeping everything real, right? So, as we're doing, there's loads of trips on my own, um, so keeping it all real. Now, like I say, everything on YouTube and Instagram and all the other socials, you can quite easily say, yeah, it's amazing, everyone's living their life, you know, of Riley. Guess what? Things happen. And it's how you react to them will separate you from everyone else. Yes, I've gone through the water mains. Is that my fault? 100% my fault. Am I going to cry and whinge about it? No. Am I going to just going to go home in a Mardi? No. Am I going to have to call a plumber? No. Am I going to have to roll, roll up my, my sleeves and put my big boy pants on? Yes. So that is exactly what I've done. Does it mean that I'm going to get this job done today? Exactly that. I'm never going to get this job done today, so I'm back tomorrow. There's worse things that can happen. It is what it is. Explain to the customer exactly what's happened. No point hiding it because that's stupid in itself. So, uh, yeah, on that note, I'm going to leave the video there. So join me next time when I am going to actually wire them in and do the testing. Let's make that a video. Wire them in, put the RCBOs in, and then we'll do the testing. But if you've got to the end of this video i really appreciate it and thank you for choosing this video in the first place and make sure you subscribe turn your notifications on and then stay tuned for day two of what should have been so day two should have been day one oh